shopping more? I think so. Me personally, nah. not in this moment. I'm but. shopping more. I'm, I'm stimulating the economy. That's how I figure it. <laughs> On her shoulders. Um, yeah, yes, I'll just take <laughs> the off of the all world. of it. Um, <laughs> consumer spending continues to increase across the country despite inflation. But a lot of older Americans are spending. Yeah, they're keep on keeping on. A new study from Bank of America finds the baby boomers, those 57 and up, are the only age group to increase their spending over the past year. News Nation business contributor and New York Post reporter Lydia Moynihan joins us now. Lydia, um, I guess I'm curious, where are older Americans, most of whom aren't working anymore, getting all this discretionary income? Yeah, the so-called silver spenders, if you will. Well, what this study attributes to is the increase they got this year in Social Security. Social Security increased uh, the payment by 8.7% to try and stay pace with inflation. Um, but what's interesting is by the time they actually made that increase, inflation was easing. So people on Social Security got a bit of a boost at the same time everyone else was kind of paring back their spending. So that's what they're saying has really been driving the increase in spending among that older generation. But I think there's a couple other factors at play. Um, boomers have been pretty lucky. Many of them bought homes when they were just a fraction of the price that they are now. And then they turned and downsized, sold that home, made a profit. Um, so they've been lucky in that regard. They also don't have the costs typically that people in the younger generation have. They don't have mortgages or car insurance pay payments. And those are really what are squeezing the younger generation student loan payments, of course. So they're kind of in that in that perfect, you know, age bracket where they have a lot of retirement savings and they don't have a lot of new costs yeah. that the younger generations yeah, do have. Well, sense. they also have more money. I mean, my dad would say, they if you want to get rich, just get old. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon is out to save those same Gen Z and millennials uh, who talk about you know moving to Australia or France or Greece uh, some money as well. <laughs> They're offering primary health care for just $9 a month, huh? Why just Gen yeah. Z and millennials? Nine dollars. Like, can I sign With up? <laughs> yes, yes, you can. It's for all Pride members. It's one more goodie that they're trying oh, to good. offer it's not more people in. Yes, <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's a very inclusive healthcare plan. So they're basically offering a half-off discount to anyone who has Prime. Amazon has been trying to get into the space for a long time. They've acquired PillPack. They've acquired some other medical companies. They want to make this a big service that they offer. And it's going to be interesting to see how people respond. It's just about 10 bucks a month um, or, again, that $100 per year if you have Prime and you get access to virtual health appointments, next day appointments. Um, so, so we'll see how, how this plays out, but certainly a good service. Wow, $100 a year. Can't imagine. I think I'm going to look nice. into that. Yeah, we'll do a little research, Lydia. A little we'll cost get back comparison. to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, cool. All right. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.